Hey you guys, Walt here. I'm going to show you how to do the second part here. This is uh, part two. This is going to be the front and back of the box. Um, same kind of deal. You know, it's a rectangle, some cutouts. We're going to mirror everything. Um, this one's nice. The top and the sides are all the same. So that makes it kind of easy. Um, so back to Fusion. Make yourself a new design. I'm going to close the left uh, just to save memory on my computer. Um, close the data panel and, uh, I'm going to make a new sketch here on the X, Y, and I'm going to draw a center point rectangle again and click there. And, uh, I'm going to put 1.25 is what you should have for dimension. I guess this would be L, uh, and hit enter. And then I'm going to add in a dimension for the width. Uh, this would be dimension A, and I'm just going to use, click on the D1, that dimension there, and use that. So I get a square. Um, you could use your numbers, um, but, uh, you know, uh, cheat code, I designed it, so I know it's 1.25. Um, now we're going to make the cutouts, and so you got two cutouts on the top and two on the side. And the nice thing is on this is look at all the dimensions. All the dimensions here across the top are the same. All the ones here on the side are the same. Um, and then you have B and G, which are, are the, uh, the uh, uh, step measurements for these uh, fingers. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and draw rectangles. I'm going to draw one here, get it on the top. Draw another here. Draw another here. And then another one down here. Okay. Now it's dimension time. First dimension I'm going to do is B. You can see it's from this outside corner to this corner down here in the bottom. D for dimension, outside corner, corner down here. And this one should be close to 0.118. Boom. Um, now I'm going to do something sneaky this time. Notice uh, that's D3. And so remember that later. We're going to reuse D3 later. Um, and uh, then I'm going to go across the top here, C, D, E, F. These should all be close to 0.25. So I'm just going to go dimension these. There's C, boom, 0.25. Uh, D would be here. I'm going to steal. E would be here. Steal. And then F. Right. Yeah. Steal that. Okay. Um, now, if I look at these top lines, you can see I got a unconstrained over here. This is blue. That just needs a collinear. So put a collinear. Click on that line here. Click on the line here. And your two top um, <clears throat> cutouts are finished. Then we just got to do these two on the sides. Uh, next one is dimension G, which you can see is going to be that same 0.118 or thereabouts. I'm going to dimension, click there, up here. And then I'm just going to steal the number from over here, which was D3. Um, and then the same kind of deal. We're just going to go down the side, dimension H, I, J, K. So there's H. And I could type 0.25, but you know what? I already typed it. Just going to click there. Here's I. Here's J. And there's K. K. Um, let's zoom out a little. Look at it. Something's not constrained. Got a blue line. Needs a collinear. Collinear. That one. And that one. Cool. So now we're done with those. It's mirror time. Um, I forgot to draw the center lines. Bad waltz. I'm going to do that now. Line. Select center line, top, midpoint, bottom, midpoint, left, midpoint, right, midpoint, hit escape, make sure center line is off, create, mirror, um, select the objects on top, it's going to be these rectangles, mirror line is this line across here, click, okay. And then I'm going to repeat the mirror. Now, here's a shortcut you may have figured out. If you right-click, it'll give you the option to repeat the last command. I should have showed you guys this earlier, but you could, you could right-click and click on that. And it'll do a mirror again. I'm going to click these boxes right here. Click mirror line, and I want the vertical center line. Click OK. There it is. I'm going to hide the constraints because that's a lot. Looks good. Looks like the original. Everything is black, fully constrained. And then you can finish the sketch, home view, extrude time, four sections again. Now here's where I'm going to reuse D3. Remember D3 was 0.118. Uh, 
which is the um, the the step measurement for these uh, these cutouts here, but it's also the thickness of the wood. So I can just type here D3 and not have to worry about that number. It'll be the same. Um, so you could have put 0 0.1182, but anyways, that's what I use for the depth. Um, now we just need uh, material and save, right? So we'll do uh, uh, we'll do our material just like before. I'm gonna go pull the birch out of here. Boom. Escape, right click, appearance. Gonna go get that oak wood, drag it over. Looks awesome. Hit escape. Uh, then it's save time. This one is gonna be the front and the back. So I'll, I'll save it as front right now. If it's in your reverse engineering project. And then uh, go to my data panel. And then I'm gonna copy the front just like before. So I right click on the front, hit copy. It's going to say, where do you want to put it? Reverse engineering is where I want to put it. Hit copy. There it is. I have two fronts. I'm going to rename one of them to be the back. So now I have front and back, left and right. And we'll go on. Next one, we'll make the top, and then we're going to be good to go. Okay? Good luck. Have fun.